magi, definition, noun, plural, Latin, wise men of philosophers, wise men or philosophers of the East, East or West people, East or West, we're just such a way. Let go, this is the press the hour, man. It gets better. It gets better. He is said to be of the ancient lineage. So again, let's back it up. This is the bishop. This bishop concluded his report. All right. So this bishop concluded his report with these words. This is the conclusion. He is said to be of the ancient lineage of those magi, like Ty Battle just dropped, those wise men or philosophers of the East. Wise men, wise counsel, Nestor, let go. He is said to be of the ancient lineage of these wise men <laughs> who are mentioned in the Bible <laughs> and to rule over the same people, the Hebrew. Enjoying such glory and prosperity. They're talking about this. This is happening in the 1100s and 1200s. That this person rules over the Hebrews. People, are you listening? Are you listening, man? This is a body bag, Daniel. And I say that, man, because we got bros in a fight just trying to prove that Israel existed and stuff. Trying to prove Hawaii, Hawaii exists. People trying to tell them, oh, Hebrew is just a white, well, white made up thing. This, 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 You have a tribe. Your tribe has recordation. You might have to look in between the timeline. You might have to uh, redefine whatever the, you know what I'm saying, bullcrap definitions that's been put on your titles, you might have to strip all the titles away to connect the water, to let the stream flow again, to let the stream flow. So he is said to be of the ancient lineage of Magi who were mentioned in the gospel and to rule over the same people as they did, enjoying such glory and prosperity that he is said to use only a scepter of emerald. He is said to use only a scepter of emerald. We're talking yellow dashi, man. We're talking yellow, right? We're talking we're talking Nestor. Did you know America's been at war against the Indian ninety three percent of the time? They've been at war since seventeen seventy six. Who do you think they are at war with? The descendants of Yellow Dashi, Prester John, King David, the real King David, the real Moshe. Oh, they called him Kitsikooto. They called him Dragon King, Lofty Dragon King. Yellow Dashi, Yellow Tashi, Tashi. Yeludashi. Pull that link up I just dropped. They call him the Emperor of Western Lao Dynasty. So you can trace your lineage through the Lao. L-I-A-O. Yaludashi temple name. Mia Mao Hao Hao. Tezon. Founder and first emperor, emperor of the Z. Hold up. The XI, right? You know, if I'm saying that right, Z, Xi, you know. Now, the Z is the Western Lao. Now, who's the Almec? Don't they say the Almec is also the Z people, the Xi, Z people? So now we got a connection with Yaludashi and the Almec, or the Solomon Ogam. 
Yulu was a member of the imperial family of the Lao Dynasty 907 to 1125. These are the glory days of Preston John right here, which had been established by the Katan, Katan tribes and ruled much of Mongolia, Manchuria, when the Lao Dynasty was overthrown by the Gurchin or Genghis Khan's people who established the Jin Dynasty. So you had the Jin against the Lao. Cold word, cold word. Yalu fled to Turkestan. We're gonna we're gonna talk Turkey right now. Where he imposed his suzerainty or his dominion over the Central Asian oasis east and west of the Pamir's Mountain. His empire was finally conquered in twelve eleven by the Mongols who called it Kara Katai or Black Katan. Twelve eleven. He's conquered, right? Twelve eleven. Let's go. Let let let's talk carriers, and then we're gonna talk turkey. Oh, I told y'all, man, we coming in hot. Wow. Oh man, they starting to take these documents down, man. Yeah, they took my Wong Kong document. That link is now broken. Wow. We doing it's getting too hot over here, man. I know y'all been digging, man. It's getting too hot over here. Wow. So I'm gonna try to find another one, man. That's crazy. That's wow. That's crazy. Alright, let's try this one here, man. Let's see if this one rocks. This it must be some drop in it if they go and just take down the link, man. But that was a nice link, man. That link actually linked us to Marcus Baruch Khan, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We're going to find another one, but let's try this one for now because it basically says what I'm trying to say. Ong Khan, Preston John, Ong Khan was a blood brother of Genghis Khan. Was a blood brother of Genghis Khan's father, Yesugi. So this link is making Genghis Khan the actual uncle. The uncle. The blood uncle of Genghis Khan. Let's go. In 1188, he agreed to assist Genghis Khan in an expedition to rescue Borte from the Merkits. The two continued their alliance over the next decade, joining together with Gurchid forces to raid the Tartars in 1196. Ong Khan joined forces with Genghis to defeat Gamuka. Mm. The increasing power of Genghis caused a break between the two. Genghis proposed a marriage alliance with Wong Khan. This was initially refused. Wong Khan. Support the stewards. Keep the water flowing. Support the stewards. Keep the water flowing. So far we raised as a tribe $2,101 to go directly to K and J. Man, I'm talking Chameleon, Jason Stewart. Keep the family going. If it ain't about J. Stu. It ain't about shit. Let go, man. Let's get to our goal. Keep it flowing for the family. Love to the family that's just dropping that drop. Dropping that drop. Keeping it tribal. Dropping that drop. What it do, man. We just surfing the wave. We just surfing the wave, man. We are just surfing the wave around here. Alright, man, we're going to talk OISB, OISB, let's get back in the OISB, love the drop nation, yeah, man, that was that press the hour, we live, baby, we're running a, a replay from last week, we took a good sign week, 
We got about 22, 23 tribal members dedicated to dropping that ether every single week. Everybody got their slots and every single sponsorship goes to everybody equally. All 22, 23 of us equally, you know what I mean? So this is our community pool. As we build, we build together to make sure we can separate from Babylon, support our exodus, become a dragon sponsor today. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're going to get a bunch of perks and discounts and different things, man. But, you know what I mean? I want you to do it out of your heart bone. So if you want to support the exodus and keep the water flowing for real, for real, if you've been sitting back waiting for a way to support the drop, you could become a copper dragon sponsor for 25 a month, silver dragon for 50 a month, and a gold dragon sponsor for 100 a month. And again, it goes equally, equally to all 22 plus, you know what I'm saying, equally every month. You know what I mean, so you're able to help the entire tribe, the entire family build equally. So please, man, keep the water flowing for the tribe, copper, silver, or gold. It's all your pa. We appreciate the water that keeps flowing in, man. We're just talking the wata, the hawata. Let's get it, man. We're talking hawata, right? I mean, we were just talking cariots. We're just talking the Kitan, the cat day. We say east or west, east or west. What do you see? You got the drop. Click the links below. Pull up the map. What do you see? I mean, if you like me, you see a lot. You see a lot of goodies. You see a lot of Florida, right? Meditate. Activate. Zion up. Yeah, man. Keep it going in the drop chat. Oh, we got Riri in the chat, man. Kyrie, Lucis, the cop. Exilence, Yosef, the real. They just surfing the wave, dropping that drop. Man. What it do? You know, sometimes you got to hit them with it. What it do, man? You got to hit them with it. What it do? You know, just keep the, keep the water flowing for the tribe. That's it, man. That's it. East or west, man? Oh, that's what I want to do. I want to get some. I want to get fluty, man. We're gonna get this OSB. We're gonna need some flutes playing to dodge all that hijack static. To dodge the static, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go a uh, waspy. We're gonna need to get fluty. It's it's a good defense. It's a good frequency defense, man. Welcome, Welcome to swag. Smiles, what it do? Holla at me to go. Man, let's start with this. One. Don't fall back, man. Fall way back. Wow. Let go. Making sure you can see this all right. Let's zoom in. There we go. Bow. So tell me what you see, try. See India Superior, Cathay, Zipango, all that we talked about in the Atlantic Monthly Journal, Volume 104. India Superior. So you see how it's attached to North America, right? Right here you see it detached. Because all this land, they just got nothing but water flowing through it, man. Water flowing through it, man. See all these little islands broken up into pieces, man. What happened, man? Because it used to look like this. Oh, man. Mangi, La Florida, Mexico. There's another map with Mexico over India. Or India 
labeled Mexico. Let's see now, hold up. Not to the family, Trey Wakanda. Trey Wakanda. Yeah, we got some drop dropping. Email me, man. Music at 432 to drop, man. You know what I mean? We just surfing the way. Let go. Take your time, baby. Take your time. We got all night for this. Love to trade with Condon on IG. Get at him. Get at him. This is the Mercator map world, world map of 1569, Mercator world map of see what I see. You see Mexico and what's right here? India. India. <laughs> Body bag, Daniel. Body bag for the illusion. So you are in the Indias. This is India superior. It's all the Indias. We're talking Preston John. King of the Indias, man. You got giant fish, huh? Huh? Giant fish. Let's go. In India, huh? So all this is India, huh? I uh, love to trade Wakanda. All this is India, huh? So when we get in this OASB, let's get into this OASB with our orientation, with perspective, 360, with foundation. <gasps> wow! Let's blow it down. You're just talking Cathay, Katai, or Katai, Cathay, or Katana, or Kata, Kata. We're talking Karyats and Karate. We're talking Judah and Jedi. And we're talking what? La China. China? India, China. That makes sense. Ain't China connected to India over here? Well, China is connected to India over here. And Japan, right? Japan, or as they say it. Zipangu, I know it's small, but it's Zipan, Pan, Pangu. You got Cuba here, all this is connected. The Cathay, Cathay, C A T H A Y, Cathay. Oh, it's in Asia, Cathay, man. It's in India, superior. Cathay, yo. Cathay, India, Cathay. China, you're here, you're already home, that's why they're calling you the Asiatics, you are the China, Shina or Kenna, that CH is not just China, it's Kenna or Kana, come on man, write it out, C-H-I-N, C-H-I-N, and now change that C to a K, Ken, now change that I to an A, Khan. Khan. Is China just Kana? Kana? Like Canada? Come on, man. We're just talking about the copper color of Mary Khan. Khan? Priest, right? Priest. 
Love the sister Riri type battleship candy. They've been digging, man. Edward King, Viscount Kingsboro. Edward King, Viscount Kingsboro. November 16th, all right, all right. To 1837 was an Irish antiquarian who sought to prove that what? The indigenous people of America were a lost tribe of Israel. Khan. Khan, China, India. This is the old world, people. So, yes, the Israelites are where? In the old world. This is the old world. You see China, right? You see India superior. India superior. You're in the old world. Atlantis, right? What does it say here? Insula Atlantica. This is the at land of Atlantis. It says it right here. Atlantica. This is Atlantis. It's broken apart. You've been at war for a while now. You're already home. Put it back together. Put the pieces back together. Humped it, dumped it back on the wall. Khan? You're talking about the Khan. You're talking about the Khan. And again, this is why when you look up the definition of an American in their first official dictionary, the hijack's first official dictionary, 1828, you're just talking the Khan. A native, what's a native again? Just, I just want to remember, you know, what's a native? Oh, produced by nature. Original. Got it. Natural. Love to the fan. <laughs> Natural. Okay. All right. Original. So a original of America. Got it. Atlantis. Old world. Old world. China. India. Cathay. Okay. An original, right, of America. Originally applied to the aboriginals. Well, what's an aboriginal? Yeah, aboriginal. Oh, original. So what's the ab about? An original. We're just talking the original tribes. Lost tribes, right? Original. Okay, let's try this again. We're just talking about the Khan dynasty. The Khan, before they took your priesthood and stole your Khan. Oh man, it's so important, my Naga. It's so important. Pertaining to you, pertaining to the Amaru Khan. A native and original of America. Originally applied to the originals. Let's say it again. We just broke it down. An original of America. Originally applied to the originals. The original people. What they look like. In case we confused. Oh. Copper colored. Got it. So we're not from Africa. We're the originals found on this land. And you don't know who we are. We're natives. We're original. Apply to the originals. Originals. Or copper colored races. That were just found here. By the so-called European. But now it's applied. Now it's hijacked. To be applied to the descendants of these hijacked invaders that are now born on our land. They now steal our Khan. Why is the Khan so important? Because just as it says in the Atlantic Monthly, Volume 104. I'm just saying, we're just talking. Two days after the discovery, he feels he must go on. We're talking Columbus to try and find 
Kapongo. Zapongo. It says it right here. Let's get it bigger. And even if Polo's name does not occur in the Admiral's journey of the voyage in 1492, or rather the abstract of that journal, which is all we possess, they all they only got the abstract. Yet Polo's Cathay, Polo's Cathay, Polo's Cathay, Polo's Cathay, India Superior, India Superior. Come on. Polo's Cafe and Zipongu. What? Zipongu. All connected to North America. We're just talking North America. We're just talking North America. Zipongu. Cafe. India. He's looking for the India. He's looking for India. Yeah, Naga. You are in India. Let's go. Polo's Cafe and Zipongu are constantly in evidence in the journals of Columbus. A week before he lands in Guanahani, we're going to talk about the Guatemala. We're going to get into the OSB and talk Guatemala. Columbus opinions that Pizan's suggestion to steer southwest is not made with respect to Capango. Zipongu. And when he reaches Cuba, he believes it from the signs the Indians make to be this very land. So he believed Cuba is Zapongo. Let's go. At the same time, he is equally anxious to speak to who? Actually anx anxious to reach the mainland of China? Hold up, man. You talking? You talking? La China? Come on, man. Are we just talking China people? India and Cathay? The whole time you're already home? Oh, Columbus only reached Haiti. Are you believing it? When you know that Esteban Nico, Esteban was all through how we cool. Ain't this the same? Look, this is North America, right? Where's the Four Corners? Is the Four Corners Cafe or Kata or Kara Katan? You just talking about Preston John, the Kara, South Carolina, North Carolina, Kara Kata Katan, Kata Katana. Come on, man. This is the old world. Columbus is all throughout this shit. Let's get it, man. He believes that from the signs the Indians make to be this very land, at the same time, he is equally anxious to reach the mainland of Cuba. He is determined to deliver the letters of the Catholic kings to the Grand Khan. It's spelled C-A-N, right? Not K-H-A-N. This time, they're just spelling it C-A-N, like... Khan, like Khan, like Khan. Oh no, but you're an American. You're an American. Is it spelled like this? Ken, does that make sense? Is it spelled like this? Ken, does that make sense? Or is it spelled Khan? Khan, man. Can, con, man. We're still just talking about the con, the con a. They got a definition for that. The dominion or jurisdiction of the con. Who's the con? They got a definition for that in 1828. Persia, all right. An officer answering to a governor. Damn, look how they flipped you. Now you're an officer answering to somebody. In Europe or America, among the Tartars, a chief or prince. Whoa. So which one are you? They flipped you, right? Either you're answering to a governor. You've been hijacked. You've been conquered, Khan. They stole your Khan. You've been conquered. Now you're answering to the governor. In Europe 
or America. Right now, you cons are answering to the governor in Europe. Don't you pay taxes? America, they got their laws now, right? But what's the real definition of the con? And it's still the same con as C-A-N. Or a Canadian. <laughs> An officer answering to a governor, that's when you've been hijacked. In Europe or America, that's when you've been hijacked. That's when they took your con in America. Among the Tartars, that's what they're calling you. And I'll show you why. The con is a chief or a prince. Or a priest. It's a priesthood to be accurate. It's a priesthood. But why are they messing around with this calling you Tartars? What are they trying to say about you? Tartar, come on, don't play, man. And acid, concrete, let's get to it, man. Let's get to it. Let's get to the real. A person of keen, irritable temper, a native of Tartary, a corruption of Tartar. Oh, here we go. Hell. They're saying you savage demons. They're calling you dragon, demon dragons. And they're saying that you're in hell. Because you've been conquered. You've been corrupted. They're saying the people that are in the state of hell. Is it hell not to know who you are? Yes. Is it hell not to have land? Yes. I would say you are in a state of hell. It's a hell of a time. But what's the purpose? What's the alchemy? What's being proven? You're being proven. Don't. Whatever you lose, whatever you lost, you're being proven. You will gain it all back and more. Get through it. You are no longer in the mind state of hell. Now, we are Templar and up. We are Templar and up. Yeah, man. We are Templar and up. Military order. First established in Jerusalem. Holy land. What are we protecting? 1118 devoted themselves to the service of Hawa. We are Templar and up. Promising to live in perpetual chastity, obedience, poverty after the manner of Canaan's. Or the Khan. Khan. Who is Preston John? Let's get it, man. We're just surfing the wave. Ka. With that said, hold up, man. Columbus wants to deliver the, the letter of the Catholic kings to the Grand Khan. Now, so hopeless of an anachronism with the said Grand Khan, Grand Canyon, right? Where's the Grand Canyon? Where's the Grand Canyon? Is it in Cathay? Is it in Cathay? Is it in Cateo? Is it in India? Who's the Buddha? Who's the real Buddha? Who they try to put on Elchi? We're going to do a whole drop on Elchi. Let's go, man. Let's go. We're just talking Cathay and the Grand Khan. Why? Let's get this part right here. With the said Grand Khan, he gathers from the natives. A Cuban monarch was now at war. Come on, man. Cuba. A Cuban monarch was now at war. So when he hit this area, he thought he was in Zapangu. He's trying to get to Cathay. Come on, man. A Cuban monarch was now at war. The Khans, C-A-N, right? Khan ships. Great ships, he understood, came to Cuba. Ten days journey from the Chinese mainland. Now it makes sense, because China's right here. And Cuba's right here. And this would be ten days journey for them. But if you put Cuba here, 
in China way over here. This is months, man. This takes months to cross the water. For them, it took long time. Not 10 freaking days where they have super submarine ships. But Cuba and China on this map looks a lot more comprehensible for a 10 day voyage in the water. He understood came to Cuba, the Khan's great ships came to Cuba, 10 days journey from the Chinese mainland. 10 days journey from the Chinese mainland to Cuba. Come on, man. All this is China and India. All this is Japan. This is the old world. Then they remixed it over here to confuse our ass, but not no more, we breaking the spell. Cuba, 10 days journey from Chinese mainland. Cuba, China, Cuba, China, Cuba, China, Cuba, China. Now it makes sense. Cuba, China, Cuba, China, Cuba, China. Now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. Cathay's here. This is all North America. Cathay's here. This is the water that used to flow. Mesopotamia, Mesoamerica. Was this France? Francisca? Come on, man. Connected. Now you got the Franks over here. Not that France over there. This is France right here. Come on, man. South America. North America is up here. South America. North America. Are you surfing the wave? Are you surfing the wave? <laughs> Khan Cuba China Cuba Cuba China Cuba China Break the spell <laughs> Cuba 10 days journey from the Chinese mainland The cotton of the West Indies The cotton of the West Indies will be sure of a good market in his cities, man. We're talking India superior. His majesty was perhaps in the grand city of Cathay. Cathay, oh. Cathay. Let's go, man. And remember this drop from Trey Wakanda. India. Hispan, Nola Nova, New Spain, this is all Mexico, 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 Moshe, Moshe, Moses Khan, India, who's the king of the Indians, who's the king of the Indians in Moshe Khan or Mexico, Mexico baby, we're not even talking about nothing over here, we're talking here. India. Love the trade with Condon. Let's go. His Majesty was perhaps in the grand city of Cathay, man. Cathay, yo. Oh. It is certain, he writes, while still off the coast, the Cuban coast, that I am in front of Zeto and Ginse, of Amar, Amoy Harbor, and Hang Keo. And again, in the Cariba, or Caribbean, or Caniba, which was described to him as the mainland behind Española, or New Spain, right? Hispania. Let's go, man. Let's go. In our language, the north coast of South America. The north coast of South America. The North Coast of South America or India or Hispaniola or Cuba or Guanahani. We're just talking Guanahani, right? A week before he lands at Guanahani. Columbus opinions Pizan suggesting to steer southward is not made to respect of Capango. 
Come on. We're just talking Guanahani. Hispaniola. Guanahani's right here, man. And where's India? India or India Superior. This is the Superior India, the third India that occupied the ends of the earth. They just found you, my naga. They just found you here. They just found you here. And what did Edward King, what was Edward King about? Edward King, Viscount Kingsborough, was an Irish antiquian who sought to prove that the indigenous peoples of the Americas were a lost tribe of Israel. His principal contribution was in making available facsimiles of ancient documents and some of the earliest explorers report on pre-Columbian ruins and Maya civilization. He was the eldest son of George King, 3rd Earl of Kingston, Lord Kingsborough, the latter of Toroy. He represented Cork County in Parliament. Hey right, man, you can dig on it. In 1831, Kingsborough published the first volume of the Antiquities of Mexico. And get this drop, I believe somebody sent me this PDF. And so please believe we're going to start digging on. We're going to start digging on Edward King, who's just proving that you Nagas right here, you Nagas right here, are who? The lost tribe of Israel in the old world. In the old world. Or Insula Atlantica. They're calling you Atlantis. That's what they say. You know what I'm saying? But we already know. We already know. Now we're ready to get this OSB and keep it flowing. So where we at, man? We're going to pick it up. Pull up the PDF. Click on it. We're talking the first Bible of Guatemala, America. We just talking America, baby. Right? We just talking America, right? We just talking America, right? Guatahani, right? Where's that Guatahani at? Guatahani. We're just talking Guatahani, man. Don't be afraid. Now relax and vibrate to these plants. The music you hear is coming from plants. Somebody put these electrodes, you know, plug them into these plants. And this is the music that the plant is making on its own. You're hearing the plant sing. Dig on it, man. While we get this OSB cracking. Get to page 390, chapter 24, and let go. We're talking Iwata. I love the Jackie Anthony who got so much drop about Hawata. Hawata, Tennessee. Iwata. A man chosen by Hawa for the children of Guatemala. Guatahani. We're just talking Guatahani. We're just talking India Superior. We're talking the cons. We're talking Chief Hawata. Legendary co founder of the Iro Iroquois League. Most legends place him with the Mohawk or Anadagi people, 1390, where he was known as Hiawenta or Ayawata. Huh? We're just talking Hawata in the OSB, right? We're just talking Iwata. Chief Iwata. Iwata. With co founder Daka Nawida, he traveled from village to village among the Mohawk, Anadaga, Seneca, Seneca, Oneda and Cayuga to spread what were known as the tidings of peace and power. <laughs> Come on, man. Hold up, man. They spread peace and power, man. 
I'm just gonna let the flues play on that one. I'm just gonna let the flues play on here while die. Spreading peace and power. Read it, man. Dig on it. Up to Jackie Anthony. Peace and power. Peace and power, huh? Hold up, man. Y'all remember we was just talking about Tennessee, right? Talking how I die. I'm gonna drop this link so you can dig on it, man. If you really want that drive about how I die. I mean, we're in the OSB, right? Yeah, what die? And what is the what is the OSB got to say about yeah, what die? In the glossary, remember this is the dopest glossary of all time. If you ain't got in the glossary. If you ain't got in the glossary of the OISB, you slipping, you slipping, man. Iwata, let's find Iwata. Let's get it bigger. Here we go. Look at that, Iwata. Hiawatha, let's get it bigger. So it's spelled exactly the same as what? This right here, right? Ka? Heyawatha. Wanta, wanta ha. Hiawatha, or Hawata. Hawa. You see, your creator's name is in. All of these foundations, when you open your eyes with a 360 perspective, dragonfly on the wall. Now, what does the OSB have to say about Hawata? Hawata, Hawata is a who? A North American Indian. Is that why Cathay is in North America, China is in North America, India Superior is in North America? Because this North American Indian, who is a kind of Abraham, meditate on this, man, we about to get it. We're just getting our foundation straight, getting our secure breath, getting our higher mark. <gasps> wow! Indian, a kind of Abraham, 
with whom he was contemporaneous. Contemporaneous. <laughs> well, what does that mean? What are you trying to say, Drop? Are you trying to say that Hawata is Abraham and Abraham is Iwata? Contempt for Rainius. Oh, living or being at the same time. Any questions? At the same time. So you're going to have to choose your Joshua and you're going to have to choose your Abraham. Because you have another Abraham living at the same time except his name is more in your language. It's Iwata. Iwata, Hawata, a North American Indian, a kind of Abraham, a kind of Abraham. Well, what it, what's so important about Abraham? His seed, right? His seed would number the stars. His seed would number the stars. You are the seed of Hawata. With whom he was contemporaneous, living or being at the same time. Huh? <laughs> right? I mean, I'm just talking. I'm just talking to the Amaru Khan. An original of America, originally applied to the originals. If you ain't got that yet, the copper people. That were just found here by those that invaded our land. And stole our kind. Hiawatha. Let's get it. Hiawatha. Who was present at this council and the central person of his man management in his communications with the council. He used a wise man. Wise man renowned for wise counsel. Nestor, the God, the God, an interpreter and speaker to expound the structure and principles of the professed confederacy. The same tradition further declares that when the work was accomplished, Hayo Zin Benha miraculously disappeared. Or they're really just talking Hawenta or Hawata. Uh, miraculously disappeared in a white canoe which arose with him in the air <laughs> this is Abraham people this is the real Abraham and bore him out of their sight this canoe went in the air and disappeared miraculously we're talking Hawata oh come on man Talking to Khan. Love to Jackie Anthony. The route to High Water. I mean, just Google Hiawatha. 
see if we playing. Let's look at the Hawassi River. Love to Jackie Anthony. The Hawassi River has its headwaters on the north slope of the Rocky Mountains in Towns Country in the northern state of Georgia. The Kingdom of Georgia, David Slauson, King David. And now north went into North Kara, Kara, Kariots, Karate, Kariots, Karakata, Carolina before tur turning westward into Tennessee, flowing into Tennessee River a few miles west of St. State Route 58. All right, man, you got the Hawata River. Etymology. The Hawassi River has been known by many variant spellings. The best known of these is Hawassi. We're just talking about Hawata, right? Which is also the name of the Georgia town. We're just talking the Georgian kingdom, right? Which the river flows. Other alternative spellings include Hawassia, Hiwassi, and some less obvious related names. This must be the real deal. This must be the real deal. Euphasi or Euphrates, right? Do you see Euphrates and Euphasi? We're talking old world. And Sister Jackie Anthony sent us this. The Muscogee Creek, we're still talking about the tribes of Moses, say the river's name is, is the Koasati or Hitchiti. Hichiti Creek language words for the what? Copperhead snake or dragon. The river is known for its many copperheads even today. We're just talking the Cherokee people. We're just talking the lost tribes of Israel, right? Edward King said what? He sought to prove. The indigenous people of the Americas were the lost tribes of Israel. So we're talking Hawassi, which means we're really just talking the who? Euphrates, Euphasi. Come on, man. We're talking Hawassi. We're talking Hawatha. <laughs> man, he spread what were known as the tidings of peace and power. When their peace proposal was accepted at last and the league was formed, Hawata was named Lawgiver. What? Come on, man. So you're talking the Lawgivers. You're talking the Priest Kings. You're talking the Lawgivers. You're talking the Priest Kings. You're talking the Prester Johns. Lawgiver, which means you're talking Hawata. Now let's get this OSB. Now we ready to get to cooking. Now we ready to get to cooking. This ain't no play play. Huh? Let go. We're now let, let's get it, man. Get to page 390. Chapter 24. We're talking the first Bible of Guatemala. America. This is the first Bible of America. <laughs> Let's go. Being of Iwata, Hawata, Hawata. This is the Bible of Hawata in America. A man chosen by God, Hawa, for the children of Guatemala. This is specifically for you, the Khan and the Amaru Ka. Let's go. Let's get it, man. For the dismount. In Guatemala, in the Middle Kingdom, by the Sea of So Kiapan, came down from heaven Gichi, the creator, the world maker, Manito. With silence speaking in the soul of things, he said, Speak, O earth, have eyes, O earth, have ears, O earth, behold me, your maker. The earth answered him, not with words, boasting, but raised up man. 
Man said, here I am, old Geechee. Now you hear about the Geechee people, right? My mama used to always say that, well, you know what I'm saying? We come to Geechee people. Geechee, Geechee, Geechee. You know, yeah, how you talk, Geechee? She was from New York City by way of South Carolina. My mother's side is from South Carolina. My father's side is from Louisiana, Georgia, all that. So we keep hearing about the Geechee people, right? The creator looked, and lo and behold, the Eans, Eans of Guatemala stood before him. The little people, white and yellow, <laughs> Dodge Dang Hijack. We're talking the Marukan, copper color Marukan. Geechee, God said, because thou hast answered me in faith, O earth, thy ong, we, talking animals, shall be called E. Thus was named the first talkers, men with mouths for words, ears for words. Then Geechee, who they're calling God, called the Eans together and said they were good, even the handsomest of all created creations. And he commanded them to marry male and female and beget heirs. And they observe God's commands. But the dumb earth cast clouds upward. And blinded the ways of the ease. And they strayed away from the mouths. All right, get the babies out. Let's get it. They strayed away from the mouths. And came to black drooks. Which speak not and have no words. Being dumb like the black mud of the earth where they burrowed. So you have different folks popping up from different creations, man. In the darkness of the earth, the Eans mingled with the drucks. And lo and behold, a second born speaking animal, Ongwe or Indian, stood upon the earth tall and red and strong, swift and handsome. <laughs> Alright man, again, dodge the dang hijacks, you know, get the dropout, you're dealing with translations, speaking animal, this, this, drugs, all these words. You can even go to the dictionary and look up what drugs means. Anytime you want to say, man, what are they talking about, eens and drugs? You know, it's, you know, don't, don't, don't get jammed up, surf the way, get the babies out. Uh, let's look up drugs. Here we go. Druck. A low mortal. One who deserves no spiritual light. One who cannot understand spirituality. An evil man. A warrior. So this is their story. You know. About this mating between this low mortal. Who cannot understand spirituality you know what I mean let's look up E I'm just looking up ham right quick they got so many definitions ham cosmological name of Egypt man Egypt is ham the followers of Abram bestowed the country's name on him after they settled there one who is black with sunburn is Ham. Whoa, let's go. Now, when they say the Eans, they're referring to the race born of Asu and angels, those half breeds from where we are the descendants. This is all right. They're going to drop, so they're calling them. The Asu and angel half breeds that from whom we are the descendants. Then you have the Ihuan, the half breeds between the Eans and the Drucks or the <laughs> copper color races. So, according to their story, we as the copper color races, right? You know, again, this is super, you know what I'm saying? You know, this is when you really got to dodge. That's why I don't really get into this 
drop that often, but when I'm ready to pull some babies out, I go in here, man, and dig on it. You can't let the hijack define shit. That's what we have learned. But we can get the babies out. So again, when we talk about the American, the American. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, we're just talking America, man. We're just talking America. Native of America originals or what? Copper color races. All right, so we're talking the copper color races. Here, we're talking the copper color race. Here, they're calling it a half-breed between the Eans and Drucks. So the saying's an in half-breed between the race born of Asu and Angels and these low mortals they're talking about here. A low mortal, one who deserves no spiritual life. This is how they're trying to define the copper color races today. And again, dodge the damn hijack. You know what I'm saying? Half breed between ENs and drugs. All right, man. All right, man. All right, man. What is Hawa? What does Hawa have to say about this? Even Isaiah has a definition. Isaiah. A Chinese prophet. The word Isaiah is of modern Hebrew. Most likely the ancient Phoenicians disguised the Chinese name purposely. Why? So that you wouldn't know you are in La China. Isaiah, right? A Chinese prophet. A Chinese prophet, a Chinese prophet, right, in India Superior. All right, let's go, man, let's go. So, yeah, you can always come back, see what they're talking about. I don't take nothing I'm reading out here as 100 this and 100 that. But with our guard up, with our foundation, we can go in here and take out of it that the copper color races are right here in America and that they have a, a leader a leader, a, a Hawata, a chief, a Hawata bringing tidings and peace. A what? A lawgiver. He was the first to consider a subject and to give, to consider a subject and to give his opinion in open debate among the member nations until the unanimous decision of a given topic was reached. Hawata was also keeper of the Wampum, responsible for the Wampum belts. Representing the great law and the confederacy as well as those assigned by the council to remind the Iroquois of treaties or to announce a decision reached by the grand council of chiefs. So these treaties were amongst our brothers, not amongst the hijack. 1855 poem by Henry Wordsworth Longfellow, The Song of Hiawatha. This had nothing to do with the Iroquois leader, but rather a Ijibwa hero named Nana Boza, Buzho. Longfellow apparently borrowed the name Hawata as being more euphonious than Nana Bozho. As a result, the poem created over a century and a half of historical confusion. Because <laughs> he borrowed the name of Hawata. We're just talking the Hawasi. Or the Euphasi, Euphrates. Let's get back in and y'all ready? Let's go. Wow. Kawada. So the Geechee called the Eans together and they were and said they were good, even the handsomest of all created creations, and he commanded them to marry male, female, beget heirs. And they obeyed Hawa's commandment. But the dumb earth cast clouds upward and blinded the ways of the Eans. And they strayed away from the mounds. And came to the black drooks. 
which speak not, have no words, being dumb like the mud, black mud of the earth where they were borrowed or barrel. In the darkness of the earth, the eens mingled with the drugs, and lo and behold, a second born with the calling of speaking animal, <laughs> on we or Indian stood upon the earth tall and red and strong swift and handsome Geechee or God or Hawa said I blame thee not O Eeen I saw the darkness saw the straits but never more shall thou dwell with the droops nor with the new red born these those with faces like new copper call them Ihua Ihawa Right, e Hawa, for they shall be protectors over my chosen, the Ehins, forever. The Ihua shall drive away the Ba and Mew and great serpents and all the man slain beasts, for I will make mighty nations out of the seed of the Ihua. So you're getting a perspective. <laughs> of a story but really you're getting validation of a story and their perspective is their perspective sometimes it might be on sometimes it might be straight up fallen angel hijack but this is how they see you this is how they vision you so you know don't get mad just dig on it and say oh okay what you mean talking animal man what you mean yada 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 but you see that what does it say right here I will make mighty nations out of the seed of the Ihoans. Those with faces like new copper call them Ihoa. Let's go. The first Ihoan's name was Oedu, and his wife's name was Una. Una, and they begot Oana and Dan and Shusa. Now you remember Prester John lived in a, in a land called Susa or Shusha. Or Susha is one of the sons, one of the first begotten. And they had m no more heirs at a time soon after the second man, whose name was Ka Kau, and whose wife's name was Wis. We got Soma and Pana and Kakak and Kubak and Jason. And these were the first tribes of the Ihuans in the land of Guatemala. We're talking America. After the flood, we're talking Atlantis sinking. And they dwelt together, marrying and begetting offspring, dwelling in peace. And the Ihins taught them in all things, so they became an honor on the earth and the glory unto the creator but they were mixed so together that one tribe had no preference over another so by commandment of god they were called the tribe of you know you can pronounce you can pronounce all this man odukakao of the middle kingdom wanapan Ghana, Sa, Central America, in the valley of Oak by the river Ho John Wan, Kiche, Jehovah, Hawa, created another tribe called Bak Hawu, and to the north of them in the mountains, Mayu Hawagotaba, and their tribes co mingled. And Gichi, Hawa, all right, God named them Bak Ha Wug Mi Ha Wang Go Ta Ba. <laughs> Jason, son of Rakau, married Weipan, daughter of Meh. Bak Ha Hua Mi Ha Wang Ga Toba. And they beget Stogil Bak, and he beget Ko. Amen. Is it play play? You tell me. And he beget C. And she married Ban, son of the tribe of Rakao, and Ban's firstborn. Ban's firstborn son was named La 
Bana si. Laban, right? Let's go. And Labana si was born in Suisse of the second order and could hear the voice of the Creator, the Great Spirit, Gichi, right? And the voice remained with Labanese, sounds like Lebanon, right? During his lifetime, we were just talking America, right? Remember, this whole entire Bible is the first Bible of America. Guatemala, Iwata, a man chosen by Hawa for the children of Guatemala. So Labanese or Labanisi was born of in Suez of the second order and could hear the voice of Hawa, the creator, Gichi, the great spirit, and the voice remained with Labanisi during his lifetime which was 120 and five years when he died and the voice descended to Labanani Nasi's son Hut Labani Nasi and he lived 101 years and he died and the voice descended to his son Hatapad Gush Shu Labanasi and thence to his son after him named Arapan. Wow come on seek I sued a thief, ha ta pa na gu shi hoot la ba na si. Thus were represented the 18 tribes, 18 tribes of Geechee's chosen Hawa amongst the Ihwans, Hawans, who should become everlasting heirs to the voice, Managa, and Wow, God said unto Ara, Arise and go forth, my hand will steer thee. So Ara rose up and departed by the hand of the Creator and came to the valley of Og. Now you got Og and Ogam, Sylvanus Ogam, broad and sweet smelling, full of health, giving food and air and water. And there came with Ara into Og. 1,000 men, women, and children, and he built a city and called it Efspan, signifying place of beauty. And these took the name of the tribe of Ara. They took the name of the tribe of Ara, the which name survived 1,750 years, and their people were tens of thousands. After the tribe of Ara lost the voice, there was raised up Shoshone, now you got the Shoshone tribes, right? Of the tribes of Stogilbak. And Gichi raised his hand before Shoshone and pointed the way. And Shoshone departed out the country of Tabak, Guz, Bakan Khan, and came to Og and took the wife of Hisam, daughter of U Gufuna. Ha, and they begot Aaron, Na Kismus, a son of great beauty and strength, and swift runner, and the voice of Gichi Maniti, son of Jehovah Hawa, right, came to Aaron Gizbuts, and remained with him during the natural lifetime, which was ninety years, and to his son, whoa. Fusawan Hutagan Gianir Na Kitmuts, and thence to his son Manago Mazaza Hufasa Wan Hutagan Gierana Kitmuts, and Manag inhabited the regions of the plains of Yetu Tiatuazal or Arkansas. Come on, man. We just talking America, man. So Arkansas is really called Ye Tia Tawu Tawaza and they call it Arkansas, Kansas, right? And his people became mighty in cities and agriculture for four thousand years. The voice of the All Father remained with the regular succession of the heirs of Manag. But their names and their city names became so long that no man could speak them or write them. So Gichi or Hawa raised up Honga, 
son of Ab, of the tribe of Odu, 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 of the land of the Middle Kingdom, We're talking Central America, and Ongu went into the mountains of Gi, Rocky, or the Rocky Mountains, or Eagle Mountains. We're talking Colorado, sloping to the east. Kichi, God spoke to Honga, saying, Thou shalt take Obi for the wife out of thy sea. Your sea will I raise up a greater tribe than all the other tribes, and your firstborn son shall have the name, your name. And your son's son shall be called Hanga. And thy son's son's son, and so on forever. For I am wearied with the burden of names. Thy, cre thy great creator hath spoken. <laughs> I ain't even tripping on the names. All of them got your name. Let's go. Then as Hanga saying, What if I have no son but only daughters? Or if my son or my son's son... They ceased to have a son, but only daughters. Then spoke Geechee, saying, The wife's first daughter. So it came to pass in course of time, Han got married and begat heirs, heirs, and the voice of the great spirit remained with the tribes of Hanga. And it came to pass that he who heard the voice was always the chief high prophet for the tribe, was called Hoanga or Hawanga. But the peoples themselves were called Ongwe. I mean, remember, we're just talking Ong Khan, right? Ong Khan, who is Prester John. Ong Khan's Karits, Karati, Carolinas. Ong, Ong, Hong, or Ong. They are the Ong, son, son, your son, son, your son, son will still be called Ong. Hong Kong, Hong Kong, nah, man. Hong Kong, nah, man. We're talking India. We're talking Guatemala, Guatahani, India. Hong Kong. Are we talking over here? No, nah, man. We're talking Zipangu. Wow. We're talking Zipangu. Pa. In America, man. Let's get the rest for the dismount. Allow. Wow. We're just talking Ong. 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 So the great spirit remained with the tribes of Ong. And it came to pass that he who heard the voice was always the chief high prophet or the prester. The prester Ong. The prester Ong. Or prester John. We're just talking Ong Khan. Bang, let go. Who was always the chief high prophet, priest, right? For the tribe was called Onga. For the peoples themselves were called Ong. We, the same that hath endured to this day and is called Indian. Managa, Ong, Way. And the generations of Ongwe, Onga, were called first Onga, second Onga, and third Onga, and so on. We're just talking Ong. And this was the beginning of the counting of time in Guatemala. Neither knew any man the number of generations before the time of Onga the first. So they started counting time. We're just talking chronology. We're just talking Moshe. Ong priest, we're talking David, Ong priest, and before Ong the first, neither knew any man the number of generations before the time of Ong the first. Ka. 
And the land became full of cities from the east to the west and from the north to the south. And people dwelt in peace, tribe with tribe, the world over. Then came the god of evil. Uh-oh, here comes the hijack. Ahura, Yatora, sowing evil in the temples and the altars. So these people dwelt in peace until they were hijacked by Genghis Khan. Remember, Ankan Khan was the blood brother of Genghis Khan's father, Yesugwe, which makes him the uncle of Genghis Khan, according to this particular researcher. Genghis Khan proposed a marriage alliance with Ankan. Khan. Genghis wanted to marry into the family. This was refused. And then they went to war. They went to war. They say An Khan, an historian, was killed in war. Let's go, man, for the dismount. So they dwelt in peace before Genghis Khan rode up on them. Then came the god of evil. Here comes Genghis. <coughs> Sowing evil in the temples because he wants to marry the daughters and the altars. Yeah. With the false tongue and cunning came he before the prophet, stealing their eyes away, stealing their ears away, holding up his hand, saying, It is the great spirit's hand. So he called himself the great spirit. And it Torah, the hijack, obsessed the nations and tribes of men to worship him, infatuating them with the stories of far off countries and the glories of kings and queens. Here comes Genghis. And he set foot a war, set on foot a war of plunder. Here comes Genghis. Brought 10,000 times, 10,000 evil spirits to aid and abet mortals in war. Here comes Genghis. And the Torah, the god of evil, taught mortals to flatten the head to make profits and lo and behold the land of Guatemala became a seer, a land of seers and prophets and conjurers seeking evil for sake of evil consulting the spirits of the dead for war and for earthly glory in blood and death and that's chapter 24 and we'll get that chapter 25 we're just reading the what? The first Bible of America. Guatemala. Being of Iwata. A man chosen by God. Awa. For the children of Guatemala. We're just talking Ong Khan. We're just talking Ong Khan. Press the John. We're talking Hiwasi, Hawata, the Hawasi River, the Rocky Mountains. Didn't they just mention the Rocky Mountains? Didn't we just talk Rocky Mountains, man? So Giche, or Hawa, raised up Ong, son of Ab, of the tribe of Odu, or Judah, <laughs> of the land of the Middle Kingdom. And Onga went into the mountains of Gie, or the Rocky Mountains. So Ong went into the Rocky Mountains. The Hawassi River has its headwaters on the north slope of a Rocky Mountains. This is it play play in the northern state of Georgia? Uh, are we just talking the Euphasi or Euphrates River? Surf the wave. We're just talking the chief, Hawa Da, legendary co founder of the Iroquois. We're just talking Abraham. We're just talking India, 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 North America, not here, here. India, India Superior, Sapangu Cathay. The lost tribes of Israel, man. Cathay, India, China. Let's go. Cathay, India, 
China, Florida, all connected. What's all this connected? What's all this connected? Is that Greenland? All connected? Come on, man. Surf the wave. I want to go out like this, man, with the homie, man, my man Cameron. My man Cameron Frazier got the drop. Cameron Frazier got the job. We're going to keep the flutes going and let Cameron do his thing, man. Brother Nature, what it do? It's about that time, bruh. It's about that time. <laughs> Let's get it, man. Cameron Frazier dropped this world. We live in part two on us. And I think it's a perfect dismount for the tribe. Wow, let's get it from the family, Cameron Frazier for the dismount. What a world we live in, part two. Get part one, it's on the site. Search Cameron Frazier. Wow. What a world we live in. Let's get this reload for the dismount. Reload that one, man. I'm gonna get it right here, man. Straight live. We're gonna do it live. I got a whole, I got a whole lineup for it on the iTunes, man. Under the drop, where is it? Drop, drop poetry. Let's get part one into now that we're here, man. A world we live in. Let go. <laughs> what a world we live in by Cameron Frazier. Part one. I'm a black man in a white world. These words that I write, that I type are more than words to me. It's the way that me and my soul speak to the other side of the spectrum. Mother's pride rolls in a blossom to only feed, love, and protect them. I wish this could put me at peace. It's the only way the world can get a glimpse into what I see and who I be. In my mind for the range of arrangement, deranged aim for a pavement. Violence of aftermath painted with our blood on the hidden lands and splattered upon the pavement. Put us to work in need of a pavement hidden beneath the checks of the code to keep us enslaved, underpaid from us all the way down to our unborn babies instilled in our youth but there is still more to this hidden truth it's more than blacks who are engaged enraged and treated unfairly on the daily your political criticism or hatred isn't going to be what makes me but it made me realize who not to be just because you were exposed for everyone to see doesn't make you weak don't seek shelters from the truth that's how I'll set you free i mean this i is speaking for we it seems to be power and knowledge were placed in the hours of may promise into the wrong hands or is to be a project conducted to how Hypothesize the objects humanity idolized for productions perceived to be equal or how long it took us to reach complete and utter destruction of the people mm. who shall be after us well you know what they say about sequels never better than the first maybe we were better off as untamed matter soil and dirt Woo. 
Thank you. Man, thank you, my brother. And that's part one, and this is part two, man. Hey, Let's it's your get boy Ken Fraser. I had to come back to y'all again to do this, you know. Especially, I promised Miss Ty that I get on here and express my vision and perception. So I hope that y'all can tune in and get a vivid picture of what I'm painting with my words. So, what a world we live in. Part two. I'm a being in a lost world by Cam Fraser. I mean, it's nice to say, what is my inspiration? What makes me fight for dedication today? Staying dedicated to become lost souls, inspiration to become great. What is it that I'm doing? What the fuck am I pursuing? What's stopping me from becoming a nuisance of pollution? Running the block, doing the same thing. The world rallies against saying fuck the cops like we haven't done shit that was stupid. Inhaling any drugs, they lay remaining contaminating the suburbs with loud music, robbing and shooting. Like who the fuck are you fooling? Killing the innocent, but who contains innocence in the billions besides the children? How many sides are there worldwide? We should only see one. Sometimes I wish we were color blind maybe things will have a better outcome to become better that way <laughs> shit who the fuck am i kidding hell it would be freaky to see the different races of 50 shades of gray heaven tells me there would still be hatred upon the race like who was the darkest throughout the night and day like look at that niggerish gray funny but true to say it's hilarious that pain comes off that way like my homeboy Darius through that air they sent With gang bang bust up the block But for my protection will never let me do the same For I shall judge myself not to be judged by a God Who judges others that shall judge one another The Bible might not have idle sense in certain locations But I take the words of many to stamp artificial creations To wave the fee of total domination of the matrix To seize the creator of our unknown population Wow Man. I hope y'all enjoy it what I had to give y'all. <laughs> Let go, Cameron yeah. Frazier. Thank y'all for listening. Most Peace certain. and power. Stay tuned. Four, three, two. Drop. The drop. Yeah. Four, three, two. The drop. Yeah. Let go, man, Cameron Frazier. I think this is a perfect man. This is a perfect flow, man. This joint is called Envious, man. Go support that natural by law. He just dropped. The entire visual, the entire uh, official video for Time. Let's go get that. And this joint is one of my favorite joints off his new album, man. This joint is called Envious, and we're going to get our dismount with this joint. Go ahead and get this drop. This is the drop album, Natural by Law, for free. The release, official album, hear it now in 432 Hertz. We talking Envious Hijacks, man. Let's get it. Wow. Money makes the man. 
and without it, there's no option or a plan to get it sprouted. I'm about it with the voice of the land. It has me routed to a trance, to advance. I'm autopilot, your vision's clouded, so you can't picture what I paint. Manipulation with doubt is why your face draws on this blank. You're out of rank. We'll Google eyes upon the bank. No understanding on what is pending. The summoning of faith. You think it's fake. I see the weight and start to lift. So you can only see the pain. And that's where you begin to shift. Attitudes on constant switch. And you're always pissed. It makes me sick. The truth hits. But it's always skipped. And rarely sticks. Huh? Huh? And we're the people of the book. But most won't understand. And the rest will overlook. Huh? They in the air. Our enemies, your enemies, your enemies, 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 that's how we roll, what it do, to natural, we by law, we gotta flow, vibration, we know they hate me, they envy us, they envy us, what it do, man, y'all keep surfing the wave, man, Y'all keep surfing the wave, keep it flowing, you know what I mean, come over here man, enjoy it man, be a dragon sponsor on the wall, support the tribe as we go, support the tribe as we flow, we are always live, you know what I mean, we always got you back, you always come over here, get some of that a hive, get some of that comfort man. Uh, bang, praise the most high, why you home shot? Well, they go by how they feel, but not by what, the code, the ethics for the people. And the progress of the people, how it's supposed to go. That's factual. They know that. So they can talk all this hum all that nonsense. They know this. I just want to be free from reality's misery. It's killing me the way life unfolds differently Whoop. than what you expect. It's a thin line Whoop. between freedom and death. And the world Whoop. only based Whoop. on money, power, respect. They go. Gotta use your higher sin and let oh. cycle what's next. Watch oh. every step. Make sure you move it correct. Wow. Uh oh. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yo, Seth, the real. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. I just want to be free, man. We just want to be free, man. Okay. Get the drop, E Link. EMF neutralizer. They go. Hey. Joseph the Real got the drop. Energy, frequency. They go. My jigger, Kare Lu, ex silence. Let go. Automatic greatness. Hey. Oh. Dragons on the wall, we talking pixel glyphs. We talking Lake Superior, baby. Oh, did we? Dragons on the wall. Wow. It's a rap, man. That's how we surf the wave. Peace and power to the tribe. See y'all in the ether, baby. Shabbat time.